And so something that Christine sort of talked about is the action teams, and that is one of our performance measures that all school sites will establish an action team for partnerships um, to facilitate family involvement at that site. So as she kind of mentioned, an action team is basically a committee, a team of parents, teachers, staff, and community members. And they get together and they meet to do, which like she said, the action. So um, creating different activities and um, practices um, that will improve the family engagement within that school. Um, we're going to just talk about two different examples of action teams. Um, the first example we have is uh, Washington, Washington Elementary School in Oshkosh. Um, their action team is really great. It's part of a larger site council um, that includes those community partners, parents, um, and staff at the school. And then it's just it's kind of a subcommittee of this larger group. So they work to create family nights, um, get parents into the school, and that action team works on those things. And then the whole site council actually votes and makes the final decision on the things that they do. And here at DPI, we have the Madison Wheel office, and our VISTA has been there for three years, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and so when she started, they really didn't have any sort of parent team happening. Um, she got it going, um, started small, but it has grown in these three years. Um, they have their parent advisory board, and they have just been doing amazing things. Um, like it says, you know, about 15 to 20 parents, they have monthly meetings. Um, this year they did a parent field trip. They took parents to Edgewood College to do a college um, little tour, and it was only for parents, so that was kind of unique. Um, the parents really are part of the decision making for the Gear Up program in this way. Um, it's really exciting. They've, they've done lots of events, lots of, you know, recognition for their students. They did a conference this year, all with this um, parent voice, parents leading, leading the way, and really a strong partnership has been developed. Uh, this is a short quote for um, one of our VISTAs, Ellen, who was here in Madison at Nuestro Mundo. Um, she, the, the participant, the teacher said, you have, been, you have done here what Nuestro Mundo has been trying to do for years. You've gotten parents and teachers here working together. And that's really the ultimate goal. Um, our next kind of thing we're going to go over is with volunteering. So community volunteers will provide the people, power, and support in order for all sites to implement events, activities, um, and sustain the partnership programs that, that they have. Um, and you know, all of our business, as you can see by the numbers, they do a lot of volunteer recruitment, um, and it's really a vital piece to make those events and activities happen. And a, a really great example is the Madison Public Library. They have amazing volunteer stats. Um, they have volunteers working one-on-one -on -one with people that come in for job help. Um, they work on resumes with them. They'll help them do online searches, things like that. Um, and they have volunteers at different branches throughout the city. Um, and one big thing they did this year was work with VITA, which I can't remember. The Volunteer before. Income Tax Thank you. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, you know, people, low-income people could go and get their taxes done for free, and it was all run by volunteers. Um, and at Ashton High School, uh, we have a VISA who's working with an anti-bullying uh, committee and, and program and initiative in that community as well as at the high school. Um, and she really was looking for ways to, you know, bring more volunteers into this project. And Ashton High School serves several different small communities. Um, up there and so in order to kind of reach the parents and the families community members she really had to go out to the communities so she spent a lot of time traveling to those different communities doing workshops for the community about their anti-bullying efforts um, you know sharing what what they could do at home and then also recruiting those volunteers she made this really amazing uh, you know, display um, she went to the local um, powwows health fairs she also set up this display at the local IGA convenience store, which we thought we thought was just kind of unique, you know, something that you don't normally see, but it was really successful, and she got several people to sign up, um, and, and even to learn about the program by just going into the community where the people are going to be already. Um, and, you know, she also, we like that she used a lot of the culturally significant visuals on this. Um, the artwork is very much Ojibwe um, flowers and, and you know, visual images there, so. 
Um, so we have this quote from a patron at the Madison Public Library that says, I was computer illiterate, and your great volunteers were extremely patient with me. The library provided a step in the right direction. So just anyone can go in and get that help that they really need. 